Hey guys, welcome to a review. Perfect. It comes with my stomach, so I don't do that. But the Bye Bye Man we're reviewing today. It came out in 2017. It's a thriller, horror film, and 41 minutes. That we see Elliot, John, and Sasha move into an, a, an old house off campus. We meet his uncle in a college party. Also, they're doing they're doing a Ouija. They do a séance in there with a sensitive friend. You can call a psychic for Chip. John collects psychic girl, brings her to home. Elliot oversleeps in library after reading about the Bye Bye Man and finding out the backstory that he was he shot up a street. Um, after reading about the Bible and library, Barian now knows the psychic the girl kills herself and runs in front of a train. Uh, and Elliot is taken to the detective. And the detective deforms into a fucking bye bye man mimic. Uh, Elliot goes insane and kills John, Sasha, and himself because of the bye bye man. And his uncle gets there and brings daughter found these coins. He, she found the bye bye man dress, so the reason why they, they knew about her. John survives the massacre and tries to speak to the detective as the film ends. I gave someone a 7 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I really thought it was a lot better than people were making out. Seriously, I really like the film. It's just, it's just, it's just. One, but I do, I do see why people hated it, and that's why I had to not give it the highest rating. But I really like the Bye Bye Man. I love stories like this, where if they think of something, it just kills them. I like, I like those type of stories. Like, I like stuff like Candyman. I really wish they make a Bloody Mary movie. That would be quite awesome. Bring Bloody Mary. If you don't know, what was a rumor where you say Bloody Mary three times in the mirror. She would come out and obviously rip your eyes out or kill you. And I love films about that. So I love the Candy Man. I can't wait for the new one by Jordan Peele. I can't, and I will be doing a trailer talk about that soon. I've had a second episode. I know I'm doing trailer talks, but they've just not been interesting me. Any interesting trailers at the moment of nearby films? Bloodshot wasn't that interesting to me. I don't really like superhero revenge stories. But yeah, the Bible Man, I love the cover for the Bible Man. Don't think it, don't say it as the slogan of this film. Really love it. And I really feel like everyone's shit in this film because it was pop it was it it was alright. It was a really good film. I could watch this. This is definitely going as a, a cult classic. I think I have a feeling that in a couple of years this film will be huge. Now the reason for this is because they like like obviously n new new people could come into this world. And they will they will put this film up, watch it, and I feel like it'll fit a little bit better. But the but for that to actually work, they need a Bloody Mary movie. If I ever become a director, that'd be the first thing I do is a Bloody Mary movie, because we haven't actually got one yet. Um, but uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Bye Bye Man. Later is Aquaman, and we pick the next one, which is one missed call. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you do smash up, I'll see you guys in Aquaman. Bye bye.